Salam no. Today let's head to Ethiopia where we will be introducing you to a great emperor. Now bow down to the most famous niggas niggas in Ethiopia. I'm talking about Menelik II, of course, formerly known as Salim Mariam. Menelik II was born on August 17, 1844, in Ethiopia, which was then ruled by his father, Haile Malakot. In 1855, Emperor Theodore II leads campaigns to unify the Ethiopian Empire. He then invaded the Kingdom of Choa, which opposed him. Haile Malakot is killed in the attack, and 11-year-old Salim Mariam is captured and sent to the fortress of Madgala. During his captivity, which lasted almost 10 years, Salim Mariam observed the way that Theodorus was working for the unification and the modernization of the empire. After the death of Theodorus II, Salim Mariam escaped from the fortress in 1865 and returned to Shoah. He manages to overthrow Bizabe, whom Theodorus II had appointed at the head of the kingdom and declares himself Negus of Choa, thus succeeding his father. He is only 21 years old by then. When Emperor Johannes IV passed away, Menelik, the most powerful of the lords at the time, proclaimed himself Negus Neges in 1889. He then decides to take on the struggle Ioannis IV was experiencing against Rome's colonial ambitions. The struggle reached its peak during the Battle of Adua on March 1, 1896, in which Menelik triumphed over the Italian army. This victory affirms Ethiopia's independence, making it the only African nation not to have been colonized by a European world power country. Menelik II's work was immense. In 24 years of reign, he decreed the abolition of slavery and contributed considerably to the modernization of Ethiopia. Dinaunu, 